Digital Systems Series Part 3, Boolean Algebra Basics and how it's used in digital systems. This series introduces the NOR gate, which means not OR. It is the inverse of the OR gate. Remember the OR gate means that either input must be at a logic 1 state before the output is at a logic 1 state. For a NOR gate, the output is a logic 0 when the input is at a logic 1. Only when all inputs are logic 0 will the output be in an active, high, or logic 1 state. The Boolean equation is shown. The NOR gate functions are commutative and their gates can be extended to have more than two inputs provided that the definition of the operation is slightly modified. The difficulty is that the NOR operator is not associative. To overcome this difficulty, it is defined the multiple NOR gate as a complemented OR or AND gate. Thus, by definition, here is the equation. The OR gate was introduced in this digital system series, part 1. As a refresher, the truth table is shown. Notice that wherever there is a logic 1 input, the output is at a logic 1. And only when both inputs are 0 is when the output is at a logic 0. A variable ORed with 0 is itself. A variable ORed with 1 is a logic 1. A variable ORed with itself is itself. The truth table for the NOR gate is shown. Notice that all outputs are 0 except when both inputs are 0, which then the output is 1. This gate represents the inverse or opposite of the OR gate. Anything ORed with its inverse and then NORed is a logic 1. Anything ORed with 0 and then NORed is 0. Anything ORed with logic 1 and then NORed is a logic 0. Watch as the 1 and 0 logics are input in the NOR gate. You will see the output for each scenario. Each logic value for A, B, and the output corresponds with the truth table. The timing diagram shown is the negative logic assignment for the physical OR gate. However, in this case, it represents the NOR gate. As you can see from the truth table, the timing diagram corresponds to the logic values. For the variable A, you have 0, 0, 1, and 1. For the B variable, you have 0, 1, 0, and 1. The output value shows 0, 1, 1, and 1. This slide illustrates the K map from the truth table. There is a min turn and K map for a two variable truth table. And there is a min turn and K map for three variables. The min turn values correspond to the output values in the K map and truth table. For example, in the two variable K map, you can see when variable A equals zero and variable B equals zero, then the output is zero. When variable A equals 0 and variable B equals 1, then the output is 1. These values correspond to the output in the truth table. Now let's look at the three variable K map. When variable A equals 1 and variables B, C equal 0, 0, then the output is 0. 
This concludes part three of the digital system series. These basics are the foundations to digital logic and Boolean arithmetic and mathematics. I would like to thank Professor Robert J. Michael from Cleveland State University and M. Morris Mano with help on this topic.